Hello, thank you for checking out my online demo. My name is Greg, and this is my Insight project, um, Regex Terminator. So <clears throat> if you've ever worked with text data, especially if you're a data scientist, there's a good chance that you've reg used regular expressions to clean it up. Um, regular expressions are a way of isolating and um, parsing out different parts of text. Um, they're basically expressions that are kind of like algebra for text data or for strings. Um, so here's an example of one that would gather an email address. Problem with regular expressions is that they're very hard and they're not very intuitive. A lot of people have a lot of trouble working with them. In fact, there's online message boards that are overflowing with stacks of questions about regular expressions. Um, and one of the cool things about regular expressions is that they're kind of agnostic to language. Like they're, um, uh, it doesn't matter what programming language you're using, there's often a way to use a regular expression within that language. Um, so for an example, let's say you're Bill in accounting and you're used to using Microsoft Excel for your data, but all of a sudden you've been handed a very large data set of customer data, but it's mixed um, records with their phone number and names and same cells and it's really dirty and you want to clean it up, you could turn to my app, Regex Terminator, um, which is a website at um, www.regexterminator.com and then you go to find a match. Oops. And let's say you have a customer name and their phone number in the same cell, and you want to get just the name. Um, Regex Terminator will try and recommend a regular expression to get from A to B here, um, usually taking away text from the starting sentence. So let's see what it says. So it's recommending slash D plus to get from here to there. So this is correct. This would be um, D is for digits. So it's eliminating all the digits from the original string. So if we go back to my talk. Oops. How did I do this? Uh, so I started with trying to get examples of real world messy string data or text data. So I started with uh, a bunch of tweets that I found um, and a corpus of SMS messages. And then to get some phone numbers and number data mixed in, I had a hard time finding that data. So I simulated and generated some strings with mixed text and uh, numbers. Um, and then for the regular expression part, I tried to stick with just very commonly used regular expressions. So I looked through GitHub for examples of code that used regular expressions and scraped out um, the regular expression for those. Uh, and then I applied to generate my data, I applied those regular expressions to all of my starting strings. And then I got a very large set of data that has the starting string, the modified uh, string after the regular expression. And then I have the regular expression as the label or the class for the data. Um, and then the, the fun part or the tricky part was engineering features to um, describe the differences between the starting string and the end string. Um, so I started out simple, just like character counts, number, like letters and numbers, um, whether there's characters missing from the beginning or the end of sentences, things like that, that would match um, commonly used regular expressions. And I ran them through several different models. Um, I settled on an XGBoost, or the XGBoost model, which is a boosted gradient tree. Um, the accuracy was 0.22, which is better than random, but it wasn't quite what I wanted. So I went back through the data um, and I, I eliminated a lot of the common regular expressions, but I stuck, or I, I basically selected the regular expressions that best matched or that were best described by that, the, sorry, that the features that I engineered could handle the best. Um, and that greatly increased my accuracy. And I was able to squeeze a bit more out of that, or a bit, few more points of accuracy by um, parameter tuning. Um, uh, so my name is Gregory Stegeman. Uh, I got my PhD at the University of Toronto where I studied genetics and behavior. Um, and we worked on treating uh, animal behaviors as uh, function value traits. We found that if we um, fit functions to behavior over a range of environments, we could map the parameters to different regions of the genome or variation parameters. And then in my free time, especially since I moved back from Toronto to the Northwest, I've been running a lot. And last year on my birthday, I ran 33 miles for 33 years. And thank you very much.